In our Lev Hadash prayer book, there's a special theme on giving, which includes the following observations. To give to those in need is not to be gracious, but to do one's duty. It is an act of love, but also of justice, which is the root meaning of the Hebrew word tzedakah, charity. It is to relieve suffering and correct injustice, words which resonate even more deeply this year. Giving is a supreme ethical obligation, second only to the still greater mitzvah of gemilut, gem, gemilut hasadim, the doing of kind deeds. Maimonides states that there are eight degrees of charity. The highest of all is to help the needy with a gift or a loan or a partnership or by enabling them to find employment so that they may become independent. Here at the LJS, the selection process for our nominated Yom Kippur charities is led by Sue Head, who chairs the appeal committee. A standard application pack is completed by all the charities, giving details of their charity's background, its reach and impact, its financial position, and the project that is being proposed for our support. The committee members review and scrutinize all the applications independently, ensuring that the charities adhere to and meet the selected criteria required for consideration. The committee members then get together to discuss and review the applications, create a shortlist, and finally vote to select a charity for each of our three categories, a UK Jewish charity, a UK non-Jewish charity, and an Israeli charity. Last year's chosen charities were as follows. The Bereaved Family Forum in Israel, the Hackney Doorways Charity, and Jamie's Headroom Cafe Project in Temple Fortune. Thanks to your generosity, last year's appeal raised just over 78,000 pounds shared between the three charities. Let's hear from them now and find out how they were able to enhance their projects with our support. This is Rabbi Daniel Smith. On behalf of the Friends of the Bereaved Families Forum, I want to say a big thank you to the Liberal Jewish Synagogue for your generous donation last year. None of us could have known how hard a year it was going to be. Yet the Bereaved Families Forum continues in its important work. For example, last summer, we held the Youth Summer Camp for Palestinian and Israeli youth to come together and meet. Now, the short-term prospects are horrible, but we believe that long-term peace can be achieved through understanding and dialogue. I wish you a Shana Tova, a good year of peace and blessings. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm the volunteer coordinator here at Hackney Night Shelter. I'm currently sat in the garden of our shelter that looks after 13 men and seven women. We also have a shelter just for women nearby, which has six beds. These two sites allow us to support 26 people every night of the year who would otherwise be facing the dangerous prospect of street homelessness. In the last financial year, we supported 196 people and we hope to do so and reach even more individuals over the coming year. Your donation of £22,160 will enable us to do this. From all of us here at Hackney Night Shelter, our volunteers, our guests, a huge thank you to the Liberal Jewish Synagogue for choosing us as beneficiaries of your Yom Kippur Charity Appeal. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to the Liberal Jewish Synagogue. Thank you for all your lovely, kind donations. In Headroom Jamie, we've been able to increase our groups. We've recently added a music group. And thank you, your donations have gone to increasing our art supplies for a lovely art group. And we've been able to put on loads of training for our new volunteers. Every day we've got community befrienders here, a lovely listening all. And it's all down to your donations to help us go in with all our lovely activities here at Hensley. Thank you so much. This year's selection process was a sombre one. Against a backdrop of the atrocities of the 7th of October and the ensuing war, and here in the UK, faced with the rising levels of poverty, social inequality, along with the unprecedented rise of anti-Semitism, the Appeal Committee reviewed over 40 applications 
with 16 from Israel. It was a challenge to create a shortlist, as each project was worthy of funding. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our three charities to you. And as you will see in the short film that follows, the focus of all of them is to create a better society and improve people's lives through education, community and family support. In no particular order, this year's Yom Kippur Appeal charities are The Winch, our UK non-Jewish charity based in Camden with their Cradle to Community project, tackling poverty and the isolation of homeless families. The Anne Frank Trust, our UK Jewish charity, focusing on their vital schools programs, educating students on anti-Semitism, discrimination and prejudice, using the story of Anne Frank as a starting point. The program encourages leadership in students, encouraging them to educate their peers. And finally, Givat Haviva, our Israeli charity, bringing unity and equality to Israel's Jewish and Arab populations through a comprehensive shared education program. Let's watch short films prepared by each charity talking about their specific projects. The Winch is located right in the heart of North Camden and has been a lifeline for our community since 1973. It all started when the Winchester Arms pub fell into disrepair. The locals turned it into a youth and community centre and for 50 years now we've been standing strong for our community. Our vision is simple, a world where every child can learn, grow and flourish. We believe in the power of supportive peer-to-peer -peer communities and creating a nurturing environment for all children to thrive. We bring this vision to life through our cradle to community approach. From birth to age five, we offer child development and parenting activities with support groups for isolated parents to ensure their babies get the best start. For children aged four to 11, our play team provides affordable after-school care and holiday play schemes. Our youth team works with individuals aged 11 to 18, encouraging them to voice their concerns and change their worlds. As we face present challenges and build a positive future for our communities, we remain as committed as ever to our mission, ensuring every child succeeds regardless of their circumstances. Thank you to the Liberal Jewish Synagogue for your generous support. This means the world to us and the families we serve. With your help, we're building a community where isolated families can find belonging and support one another. We work with homeless families living in temporary accommodation who have been separated from their support networks and may have experienced domestic abuse. They lack essential items, from nappies to a suitable bed for themselves and their children. They simply don't have the financial means to acquire these. With your help, we will improve physical and mental well-being by offering creative playgroups, self-care sessions, parenting programmes and facilitating peer-to-peer -peer support. We will also help families to acquire basic items. Thank you once again for your invaluable support. Anne Frank Trust, it doesn't just teach you about anti-Semitism, it tells you about discrimination and prejudice during that time. You know, the programme starts off being about Anne Frank, but from there it broadens into all of the different types of prejudice and discrimination that are in society today. I didn't exactly know what anti-Semitism was before I learned about it here. Hard to think that we haven't really solved these things and it's been such a long time. We learned about prejudice and discrimination and what it's like to be on the receiving end of it. The exhibits is, is really fantastically put together. What's really amazing is, is seeing them come out, some of them come out of their shell a little bit. Educate the children about who Anne Frank was, seeing that link between history and, and the types of prejudice that they might see from social media, from TikTok. They were always willing to add extra things or change things, adapt things to make sure that it suits the school's needs. We're very aware that if all of our learning is done just by us as teachers, it's it's not as inspiring for the students. Getting the, you know some real experts to come in on a, on a focused topic. Good outcome for me is that they try to understand people before judging them. I used to stereotype a lot about people, so I feel like I've been doing less of that now. 
I feel like I do need to make a change. If you were that person, how would you like to be treated? Today's sessions made me more to make a change in the world. There's always going to be people who are prejudiced and we can't do anything about that. The best we can do is try and limit that prejudice. We should focus on what unifies us, that we are human beings and that we all matter. Givat Chaviva is the largest and oldest Jewish-Arab shared society organization in Israel. Our 37-acre campus has classrooms, guest rooms, a dining hall, and a boarding school. זה מקום שמתאים את עצמו למשימה שנקראת חברה משותפת. בכדי שהעיסוק בחינוך לשלום ודמוקרטיה וערכי זכויות האדם יהפכו להיות יותר מקצועיים ועם תוצאות יותר איכותיות ויותר טובות. In our work to promote shared society, we focus on education, culture, and language. Unfortunately, there are strong forces working against us, sparking conflict and advocating for inequality. We have faced crisis in the past when tensions between Jews and Arabs were at their highest. Yet, after periods of violent incidents, we have seen revived interest in education for shared society. In Israel, all children attend the same education System. Still, they are almost completely segregated within the system according to religion and ethnic origin. We at Givat Chaviva believe that education is one of the main ways to move towards an equal shared society. That's why we decided to present the public education system with a successful model for a shared high school. הייתי אומר אפילו משפחה קטנה של מוסדות חינוך, שזה הדגל שלהם, לחנך ביחד. במקרה שלנו, יחד זה בעיקר בין יהודים וערבים. בתוך הקבוצות האלה מגיעים תלמידים ותלמידות מכל רחבי המדינה, ואליה אנחנו מביאים גם תלמידים בינלאומיים. הם כל כך דומים זה לזה. אחרי כמה חודשים, אתה כבר לא זוכר מי מגיע מאיפה, אבל יש לנו 200 בוגרים. ואנחנו נמצאים איתם בקשר כל הזמן, ואנחנו רואים איך החוויה הזאת יצרה אצלם תמורה אדירה. We know one thing for sure. The future for all of us here will be shared. In order for Israel to continue to be a democracy and to prosper, we, Jews and Arabs, will have to live together and lead it together. We promote shared society on the field by our daily work and influence decision makers to invest in shared education, in empowering the Arab society and in Jewish and Arab relations. We at Givat Chaviva have been doing this for 60 years and will continue doing it for another 60 years with your help. Join us by supporting our work. In my role as volunteer coordinator, I spend a lot of time trying to find creative ways to encourage and engage our members with a variety of volunteering opportunities, asking for their time to support and maintain our thriving and active LJS community and the wider local community as well. Today, I am asking for your financial support and borrowing the immortal words of Sir Bob Geldof when he was campaigning for the Live Aid Appeal in 1985, I have a simple message, but without the expletive and the table banging, please just give us your money. <laughs> I know that we are all inundated with letters and emails at this time of year asking for donations to a myriad of good causes, but please do support our Yom Kippur Appeal so that together as a community, we can affect significant change for good. This is the principle of tikkun olam, improving and repairing our world. As progressive Jews, we are not only responsible for creating a model society among ourselves, but we are also responsible for the welfare of society at large. Together, our impact is stronger. A printed appeal has been posted to all members and details are available on the LJS website where you can make your donation. And this video that you have just seen will be available to view on our website and our YouTube channel, hopefully from tomorrow. Thank you, as always, for your time and thank you in advance for your donations to this year's Yom Kippur appeal. And I wish you all Shabbat Shalom and Gemar Khatima Tova. Thank you.